channel and today we are going to do something different so I'm in my car and we are going on a little road trip Woohoo! and we are going to the city in Belgium called Antwerp it is a very fashionable and old city there are a lot of local uh, fashion brand and boutique um, on, on the sh main shopping street and we are also going to visit uh, the boutique from Chanel, Louis Vuitton uh, and my favorite Celine as well as there is a new Belgian uh, let's say jewelry brand called APM Monaco and we're gonna check if there is any jewelries for me and Sichuan which can look very nice on us and of course you cannot see Sichuan right now she is also with us and she's holding the camera right now and let me just briefly show her face hello everybody as you know that today we are heading to the city Antwerp and Antwerp is a very classical city in Europe and uh, we expect this trip very much and now we are going to drive and we're gonna have a lot of fun see you guys later now Chong Chong is driving the car very focused and currently we are still in the land of the Netherlands. And we are driving at 130 kilometers per hour. It's pretty fast, but it's not sort of like the maximum not speed. Not as fast as 200 per hour. If it's in Germany, we can drive like 200. Yeah, yeah you can drive anything you want. Yeah. So the driving, uh, the racing car makes more sense in the German highway. James Jones, the phone There is the border. Okay. So we are crossing the border of the Netherlands and Belgium. Yes. Yeah, we just passed the We passed the pass. Here you see the flag of the Belgium. Of the Belgium. So now we are entering territory of the Belgium. Not the Belgium, of Belgium. Stick about. Yes, it is. The P sign, the park sign, yes. Now we are in a shopping street in Antwerp. And we see here we have many brands like Marshi and Bash. And Chong Yu is working in front and she are, uh, he already got something from APM. Later we'll, we will have yes. a check of his connection. Show the rain. Okay, we have a close up. Yes. Yes, this crossing one. I need to get focused first. Can you focus? Yes, get focused. already have the yes closer. so we are walking to the big shopping mall and i think it is kind of like a luxury gathering center for all different kind of brands such as um, uh, my favorite Celine, uh, chloe and i don't know what what other brands they have so we're gonna check it out yes it's so unfortunate that we cannot uh, take camera record a video within the APM they are not even allowed us to do so yes. wow. as well as in Chanel they have the privacy rules for oh, yeah you have to show everybody the the next list that you have bought yeah we can do it later I uh, hear you have the Emperor Amar yes so, cute. so in general I think the shopping experience in the Antwerp is very exciting they have a lot of uh, brands that we don't have in Holland and a lot of niche brands yeah, like small designer brands. Yeah. I think it's very nice to see. Such as the yeah. APM Monaco. We don't have it in Holland. But what we do shame. have in... Ah, and also the Chanel we can uh, in, uh, we can share with uh, all the audience is that Chanel here is actually a franchise. It's not um, actually from Chanel directly. So in that case, you can have more uh, freedom more to get uh, yeah, discount.
Yeah, I think so. I like this one. I like the, the pattern and the textile. It looks like a Dior own, right? What else? Nice. I like this dress. Yeah, I like this one. So Sichen, what do you think of the box bag and the clasp we just saw? You said I shouldn't buy it. Well, for the box, we think if you have one or two, that's good enough. But if you're gonna have a full collection, I don't think it's necessary. No? Otherwise, it's like a fetish for the box shape bag. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm, I think I have like addiction to the box bag. Every time when I see one box bag, I couldn't uh, help myself just think like I want to have it, you know? I think this is second hand, right? Yeah, second hand. They even have the old EPI leather. It's really weird. The vintage one. And how can they sell second hand in a department? Yeah, now we don't have any uh, ghosts to look for something, yeah, but just a random wander. Yeah, the beauty is nice in front. Suddenly the sun is coming, yes. Sunlight is penetrating. So Chong Chong, where are we eating to now? Should we look I don't for know. a restaurant? We are looking for a restaurant. Yes. And then what do we want to eat? We want to eat some French, right? Uh, not really. I want to eat some uh, Mexican barbecue that barbecue? I tried several years ago here. Well, maybe, yeah. I don't really care. Particular cuisine. Just see. What a way such a big shopping mall is going to be HM. Oh, yes, this one. Yeah, this building it looks quite. Uh, Luxurious. Yeah.
are we now? Do we know? In the middle of the street. But there must be something nice, the cafes, in the end. Do you have any like fancy places you can visit? Of course, there is a big square, I remember, really? in the middle of the street. So we just can keep walking. What do you think of there. the average people looking here? Are they cute or uh, more beautiful than the Dutch people? Uh, more or less same, but there are more um, uh, international people, more foreigners. This is something we can show. Yes, there is a this fountain. Is the National Museum of, uh, of Antwerp. Yes, there is a restaurant. Uh, kind of restaurant. Yeah. I think we can go from here to Fruit Mart. Yeah, sure. Hey, I'm back after three hours driving. It was really, really tiring. And, but I'm really happy because I really, the experience in Antwerp for shopping is more than uh, more exciting than I expected. And we have found a lot of local uh, designers as well as we visited Chanel and Celine there. One of the most important thing is I have found my favorite uh, jewelry brand at the APM Monaco. And I bought two rings and two bracelets there. They are just very gorgeous. And hopefully next week I can do a little review on the stuff that we have purchased there. And hopefully you also enjoy our little road adventure in Belgium. And I'll see you next time. Bye!